And we are underway. Naheem McLeod wins the tip from Ryan Dunn. And the orange in their traveling orange uniforms, whose high school is less than a mile from here. And then Chris Bell and Naheem McLeod, who we've seen, the big seven foot four inch transfer from Florida State. He gets the lob. Easy to finish there when nobody's around you. Same starting five still on the floor for the Orange. Here is Mintz being hounded by Beekman. On second effort, can't get the roll. McLeod keeps it alive. But it's McNeely with the rebound. Now Starling picks up Beekman and gets left in his dust. What a move by Reese Beekman. Get it down. Mintz still looking for his first points, and as mentioned, going to break four of the five Syracuse starters have scored. And Dan, that's a good sign for Syracuse that Mintz isn't having to do everything so far this afternoon. Here comes Gertrude to throw down his first. Virginia's not noted as a transition team, but at the top of your screen, they just lose Gertrude. He's all alone. Here's McNeely, the former Polka Dot from <laughs> Polka, West Virginia. Yes, his high school nickname was to polka dots. And on cue, he nails the three. McNeely got the defender in the air, finds some open Four. ground, and nails the three-pointer. 11 points to lead all scores for McNeely. That's when you know a three-point shooter's got it going, when he gets, has to dribble that ball away. That, he can't just catch and shoot, but take that side dribble and knock down the three. Rody with the steal. And the easy two. UVA with its largest lead of the afternoon. Which has picked up the pace, making five of its last eight shots. Mintz got Beekman in the air. Hangs in the air, and that is what number three does best. Beekman inside the foul line. Keeps the dribble, puts it up. Tough shot. Oh, that is a very tough shot, I think. Seven turnovers forced so far today by that Virginia defense. McNeely the cover, oh! trips it off for Bond. 38 seconds left in the half. Bond gives it back to Beekman. McNeely oh my. from near the logo. Oh! That's a new career high. And firing from downtown. What confidence for the sophomore from... Bell and Taylor clear through. Here goes Mintz right to the bucket. And he lays it in with two on the clock. Well, Syracuse does a nice job coming out of that timeout to have something positive to go into the locker room with. Rose to the high post. Beekman makes the quick pass to the corner. Good job by Bell to cut off Dunn. Rody for three. So that's always a little bit of a challenge as well. You never know how those guys are going to react. Here's somebody he has known since Starling was a kid, and J.J. Starling with a good bucket, shooting it at better than a 60% clip today. Beekman missed it. Dunn kept it alive. Still loose. Dunn's the one who gets on the floor, and so Virginia has it to McNeely. It kicks it out, and then McNeely, <laughs> it seems like he had missed today. Buchanan also back into the game at the five position with the basketball for Virginia. McNeely to step back three. He is feeling it. Game, the small lineup Virginia's playing. To be really effective, they have to make three. Well, McNeely has had a couple of them deep, but not quite as deep as the fan who hit that during a recent timeout. Bond with his second flush of the game. J.J. Starling has come back on for the Orange. Quadir Copeland makes things happen on both ends for Syracuse. That was really good patience by Syracuse. The Virginia defense was scrambling around, and they made him do it so long, the defense finally broke down. Which is rare for Virginia. They play the shot clock to me, Dan, on both ends as well as anybody in the country. Buchanan with the dunk. That's not a thing today against Syracuse. Into the act is Blake Buchanan. Well, I'm telling you, there's obviously an unprecedented interest in women's basketball. It's great to see, and she's responsible for it as much as anybody. Malik Brown having himself a nice game. The follow-up slam. 
Well, that's the first time Syracuse Press has produced a basket. They get another steal. Copeland, he'll have a chance for three. Way to go. But that's Ger Gertrude makes a mistake. Gertrude. Oh, wow. The reverse just goes off the iron. Three attempts at the rim. Bond couldn't finish. Well, Miner couldn't finish. Bond couldn't finish. Sarling off a little head fake. A whistle on the shot that was good. Get in a foul against Virginia. Well, this is the third time this year the Hoos have gone for more than 80, and they win their ACC opener. A very, very impressive performance. They're going to be tough to beat when they can make threes at the pace they made them today.